It's common practice as a field surveyor to take pictures of your site to document what staking was done, what the site looked like, the condition and markings of monuments found, or for a number of other reasons. But usually those pictures get dumped into a folder and the office staff has to guess the orientation and location of each photo. Today we're going to look at a way to create a KMZ that solves both of those issues and takes less than 30 seconds to do. Step 1. Take the pictures in the field. Step 2. Open Geosetter. Geosetter is a freeware tool for Windows that uses the geotagging information that's embedded into the photos taken on smartphones. It can be downloaded for free from geosetter.de. The download link will be in the description of this video. Step 3. Navigate to the folder that contains your site pictures in the left panel of Geosetter. Step 4. Highlight the images then click File, Export to Google Earth. Here you can adjust the settings as desired. I like to use a thumbnail size of 800 and check the boxes Taken Date and Image Direction under the Info fields. Step five, click OK and navigate to the file destination and you're done. One thing to keep an eye out for is if you emailed the photos from your phone to your computer, they may lose their geotagging information and Geosetter obviously won't be able to use them. Instead, I use a USB cable to transfer photos directly to my computer from my phone. If you're still having issues, make sure Location Services is enabled for your camera app. In less than 30 seconds, you've provided the office staff with enough information for them to know where the project is on Earth, when and where every picture was taken, and the direction the picture was taken. I hope you enjoyed this week's quick tip. In the future, I will be working in more of these short, straight to the point videos as I know not everyone has 20 to 30 minutes to sit through my longer form videos. As always, thanks for watching, subscribe if you want, like if you feel it's warranted, and I'll see you next time.